Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio Nation. Let us see what is happening towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio family, okay? This is a collective reading. Let's pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship message for you guys. Let us see what is coming towards you guys, okay? What can I get for Scorpio? What is the message for Scorpio, please? What can I get for Scorpio, please? In love, relationship, dating, getting to know. What can I get for Scorpio, career, finance, and general situationship? This is for Scorpio. What can I get for Scorpio? Okay. You have the Seven of Swords, Scorpio. You have the Nine of Wands. And you've got the Nine of Pentacles in here. Um, you have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You have the Eight of Cups. And you have the Three of Wands. Okay. Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles. You've got the Hierophant card. And you have the Four of Pentacles in the Devil card. Oh, wow. This is crazy. <laughs> this is match made in hell. <laughs> Scorpio, what are you doing in your life? Um. Okay, let's start your reading. Um, you've got the Seven of Swords in here. Um, there's a situation or a person that you're dealing with and they're very deceitful, okay? Seven of Swords. They are very sneaky. They, they're they doing something behind your back, Scorpio. It could It is a person, this, this Seven of Swords. They're doing something behind your back. They're not being honest. And I feel like you are aware who this person is. It could be a home situation or... An office situation, Seven of Swords, um, it's clarified by the Strength card and the Five of Wands. You know, this could be with the Seven of Swords, the Strength card and the Five of Wands. There's a competition and the competition is strong. Okay, it could be a situation at home or at work. You're dealing with someone who isn't is not being honest with you. They're not honest with you. Uh, there's a competition. There's a competitive element with the Seven of Swords, the Strength card, and the Five of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. But I feel like this competition, the competitions that the competition that you have with another person, whether it be a relationship or something that is competitive in nature, you know, maybe at work in business, this will end, okay? Because it's a seven of swords. It means that it's bad. It's not healthy. So eventually, anything that is bad and it's not healthy, it's not good for you, Scorpio, you're going to end that. You know that. So this, you know, deceitfulness, you won't engage further. Yeah, seven of cups. I feel like you're coming to a point, Scorpio, where it is confusing and deceitful and emotionally draining and it's tiring, so you're going to let it go. You're going to disconnect with a person or a situation that's really confusing, deceitful, dishonesty, disloyalty. This is not your person. <laughs> you're going to let go. There's a Knight of Wands in here. I feel like it's a moth to a flame. It's so hard to forget a person that is very passionate. Like There's something about the Seven of Swords. And the relationship with the Knight of Wands, it's kind of hard to forget. Most especially, you have the Devil card in here. This is, it's kind of difficult to get this out of your system. There is an addictive element. Because the Knight of Wands, it's like going back and forth. Okay? There's a going back and forth in here. But I feel like it's not healthy. And you've got the Scorpio card, Death card. So you will let it go. Oh, oh my God, Page of Cups. Um... I'm really getting Scorpio that you will let go or maybe they will let go. Maybe it is a consen consensus. Let's let, let go. 
but you will still have a connection with the page of cups it could be you're going to say goodbye to um, a toxic relationship maybe you have kids you know or maybe you have children but that that children or kids connect you there is a common denominator like a connector you know maybe you're gonna let go it's a feeling where okay um i still have to work with you you know um there's still i would say a remainder of things that i need to work with you but you're prepared already to let go because this page of cups someone tried to change your mind scorpio with the page of cups let's see it could be a fellow scorpio yeah ace of pentacles in here the page of pentacles like they bring the sun it could be it could be oh this looks like an egg um so for some of you guys you could be dealing in a situation where the only the only the only way to handle it is to let go of it but somehow there's still a little bit of the remainder that is connected with this person or situation something tells me the page you'd still be connected but you're letting go it could be you're letting go of a rift or a fight an attitude but you're you're letting go of something that's toxic it could be you scorpio letting go of an attitude as well in here you know because this is very transformational like it's coming to a point where okay i'm gonna let go of this idea of this plan of something you know like clean slate for some of you guys because there's a nine of pentacles in here you're letting go of something that is deceitful whether it's an attitude a person a situation a plan you're not gonna go there you're gonna take the high road with the nine of pentacles in here okay there's gonna be people person situation that's gonna be affected so you would it has affected you already. It has given you a lot of workload, a lot of to-dos. A lot of people are hurt for some of you guys. So you're, you're simply not going to tolerate this person's situation anymore. Maybe that this idea. Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is that, yeah, heart of one card. It's weird. So you want to let go of a commitment or a toxic relationship or it could be you want to be independent of a hierophant card it could be a taurus but you want to be independent you want to let go of a commitment that is boring deceitful this is not your forte something tells me that this is not your forte this is not the life that you want this is not your line of work this is not how you see yourself in the future i mean i mean look at the hierophant card look at this it looks like a lazy you know it looks like like it doesn't have a spark and then there's a deceitfulness it's deceitful it doesn't make you feel great whoever this person or situation it is they're still convincing you to stay but it doesn't feel great like it doesn't bring fire in your soul scorpio we're entering leo season so maybe you're the martian energy from you um scorpio is very lit whoever this person a situation is it is hard work it is deceitful there's something competitive deceitful inconsistency in here and it's also boring i'm really getting a lot of this is boring life you know okay let's put this back because it's a lot but whatever this is it's it's boring and it's you feel like you're lying to yourself by like connecting with this person or being in this situation or being with this person. It's like you are depriving yourself from being authentic. Like being with this, it's like I'm not authentic. I, I will be able to get more than this. Like there's no spark in this situation. And also on top of that, it's deceitful. Okay. Yeah, Empress card. Okay. The Page of Wands. What is the Page of Wands? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're breaking free. You are breaking free, Scorpio, from a person or a situation that is boring. And it makes you feel 
not authentic. It's, it doesn't align with your work, with your study, with how you want to see yourself in the future. There's also a part of the situation that is disrespectful because it has a seven of swords. If this is a company, there's a lot of gossip. If this is a person, gossip, politics, you know, greasing up. Or if this is a relationship, whether this is love or platonic relationship, this has, if this is love, whether this is a platonic relationship or a romantic relationship, it has already betrayed you. And being part of being part of them, it doesn't make you feel good. Like it's it's a feeling where you have already betrayed me and we're trying. And no matter how we try, no no matter how it looks good. Empress card in the outside, there's something inside of you that will never be able to be happy with this person or situation. With the Queen of Wands, you know, like, because I, because I feel like the Seven of Swords, you have already fixed it. There was a Seven of Swords, you fix it, and then the Knight of Wands going to, like, there's a back and forth, back and forth, but you guys managed to fix it. But then deep, deep inside, even though in the outside you fix it, there is a lot of internal wound or there's something about this energy or personal situation that it's boring. Like it's coming to, it's coming to a point where no matter how you try, it is still so far away from how you want to see yourself something like that the person is all is trying so hard but you just really don't see them in your future or just don't connect with them you know like there's no passion yeah there's stability because you're the queen of wands like okay we're stable it's secure but it's boring it looks good no problem, no drama, but there's no spark. And you're a Scorpio. When a Scorpio love, you like you you love and you burn in flames and passion. This is not that, but this security. It's like being in a job. I get the money, but it's boring. I get the money, but there's no passion. But there's security. The person or the the company, the person is saying, "Yep, there's no passion, but." it's secure and you're like yeah am i okay with this so you're like king of pentacles am i okay to be getting the money and security and living a life without passion king of pentacles are you you're thinking because you're looking into your future you know you're looking at you're looking at this person or situation I'm getting money. I'm getting security. We have on and off, on and off, but we still manage to get on. You know, it's like a relationship with your manager. You have a love and hate relationship, but you stick around with each other because of the work, because of the money. Maybe you, you have a husband or your wife. You fight, you fight, you fight, you make up. You fight, you make up, you fight, you make up. And you stick around because of the kids, you know? So... In this reading, Ten of Pentacles, secure. Like, obviously, you fight, you make up. There's a problem, there's a solution. But then, the main thing about this reading is that it's boring. Like, is this how you want to see your life? Yeah, I'm getting money. Do you have passion? Does it burn the passion, the flame in you, Scorpio? Does it? Because the Queen of Wands, you're longing for something passionate. Something that you would live. Some, something in here that's missing. Like in this reading, I really feel like there's more than just the money and security in here. You also really have to love and burn with it. Like the flame of desire and passion. That's what you crave. Because you've got here the Eight of Cups. You want to walk away from it. It doesn't satisfy you emotionally. Something tells me in here. It could be like a job. You've been in the job for quite some time. It pays the bills. It has a lot of money. But it doesn't spark passion. 
Let's look at the Eight of Cups in here. Yeah, High Priestess. You're manifesting, Scorpio, the right time to leave this no passion but secure. It's secure, but it's boring. It doesn't have a life. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it's it's like a boring job for me, for the way I understand it. Like you're looking for, you're looking at your age. You're looking at yourself. I could do more than this. Is this my life? You know, eight of cups, three of wands. Okay. Is this where I want to settle? Security. A little bit boring, but okay. It, it doesn't have your heart and soul in here, Scorpio. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you want a love, a work, a person, a situation that would burn with you passionately. You look at each other each, you know, eye to eye and you would melt together because you both are creative. You both are working together hand in hand. That's the partnership. That's the business. You know, it's a feeling where I love my job, so I never get tired doing it. This is like, for the sake of the money, for the sake of this, for the sake of that, you stay. But it doesn't have the flame. Mm. Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Ten of Wands. You want a life, a person, a job, a business that will that will not only give you the ten of pentacles security you want something that will make you happy and allow you to have a ten of wands that will ignite and spark your heart your soul your life that's what you're looking for and that is where you're heading scorpio hmm this could be you or this could be the situation that you're dealing with. But you're looking for something passionate. You're looking for something that when you look at this person's eye, you will see fire in their eyes like Phoenix. You know, you are a Scorpio. You are not boring. Again, look at that. You've got tens. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. You know, in temperance, you will find it, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. The hidden energy is the Three of Pentacles. Whatever this is, it's a big project. It's a big ambition. It is something that I would say it's not ordinary. And it's something that you and you and you, Scorpio, can only understand. None of your friends or family understands what you long for. Only you, Scorpio, in this reading. Let's look at the Three of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. You're going to find the way towards getting that person or situation that will allow you to have passion. Hmm. You have the Hierophant card in here. Let's look at the Hierophant card. Okay. <clears throat> this reading it tells me like slow and steady is good but it it doesn't spark anything in your life you know so the the hierophant card you've got the page of swords you, yeah seven of swords you got a six of wands you got a three of swords in here and you've got the knight of pentacles something tells me scorpio that you will defy rules you will break free from this person or situation they will offer you a knight of pentacles but you don't want that you want to get out seven of swords i want to get out i don't care if you're hurt i've stayed like in this reading seven of swords three of swords this is what you're going to cost them like i don't want this job anymore like, i don't want this job and the company's like we're going to offer you something no i don't want it anymore so they're hurt they betrayed, but you're a six of wands. I need to go. You know, like they're giving you more, but you're like, I don't like this commitment. I don't like this place. I don't like the situation. I don't like it. I'm not seeing myself in here. And you're keeping like, you know, you, 
this reading, it's kind of telling me, Scorpio, that people, person, situation misunderstood you. Because this devil card, they see you as someone who's toxic. They see you as someone who's doing the wrong way. But they will never understand what you're looking for because they're not you. In this reading, you know what you're looking for. And what you're looking for, it's not in the job. It's not in the job. It's not in the play. It's not where you are right now. You're looking for something passion. Mm. You are in search of something, Scorpio. Something that you will belong passionately, not boring. And the person that you won't feel betrayed. And that you feel authentic. Like in this reading, you're kind of at the breaking point, Scorpio. Look at that. September. This Knight of Swords. It looks like, you know, this Knight of Swords, the sword. It looks like it, it's pinching the Hermit card. I'm seeing you breaking free from this stagnant, boring, but secure. But you know, you're Scorpio. So you are going to burst of flame to get out of this. You are on fire, Scorpio. You will get out of the situation. Yeah, the King of Swords. You have made up your mind. You're going to leave a job. You're going to leave a situation. You're going to leave a place. Because your heart, it's not there. It doesn't give you the passion. So, wow, this was intense. Yeah, we have a new moon in Leo. So, I'm not at all surprised. But, hey, Scorpio, thank you for being here. And I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.